is red, 500 brake horsepower, and big and ugly. I'll tell you exactly what. Escort Cosworth. Julian, how are you? Morning, Ants. Very well, thank you, mate. Tell us about this beast. Uh, well, this is my baby. Uh, 500 horsepower Escort Cosworth under the bonnet. It's essentially what people may recall from back in the 80s, the Sierra RS500s, 500 horsepower Group A race cars. What's under the bonnet is pretty similar to what those had back in that day. All the inlet is the same. Cams are a little different to make it a little bit more usable on the road. Uh, obviously, when you double the, the horsepower of the car, you have to upgrade the drivetrain as well, so it's got a straight cut gearbox. Uh, all the drive shafts are uprated. Uh, obviously you've got to have huge brakes, so you've got bigger wheels to get the brakes under. Uh, all suspension obviously has all been done, some coilovers. It's essentially a track day special, but I drive it on the road. And why not? <laughs> so as a standard Cosworth, this would be running what BHP? Uh, 227 as it came out of the factory. So you've doubled it and plus that, yeah? Yeah, so essentially. <laughs> what's, it, what's it running? Uh, it's just a shade over 500 horsepower on the engine. Over, dyno. just a shade over 500? Just wow. a shade over. Wow. You can't go a little bit under, you've got to go a little bit over. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise it's 400 and something, so yeah. it's got to be 500. I, I am a big Cosworth fan. I mean, I've had a, a Cosworth years and years ago. I love them to bits. Um, I love it. It's it's a, f a phenomenal car. Um, just point out: Have you done any exterior modifications? It's fairly standard externally. Um, I mean, as you can see, the standard body kit on it is not exactly a, a shrinking violet, so it doesn't really need lots of add-on bits because it comes with all the add-on bits standard. It's a great big tea tray on the back, somewhere to put your cup of tea when you stop for a break. Yeah. But, uh, you don't want to see anyone leaning on that, do you? Uh, you know, only me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so externally, the only thing to differentiate it from the standard car really is the uh, the bigger wheels. I have to have the 18-inch wheels to get the 380 mil discs under there. Yeah. Uh, it's got um, Group A calipers on there. Yeah. Um, you can plumb them up for water cooling. Right. Um, the WRC brakes, essentially, not, the water cooling's not uh, connected up. I'm not talented enough to need it, to right. be honest, but for a road car, they work pretty well. So, Can we have a look at the engine? Certainly can. Super. Okay, where do you want to begin? So on this side, you've got your uh, RS500 inlet, so you've basically got two green injectors per cylinder. So, although it's only a four-cylinder engine, I've got eight injectors. Um, obviously you've got additional bits like this which are engine breather obviously with that much boost inside the engine a little bit of boost gets past the piston rings so the, it tends to slosh the oil about a bit so you've got a little catch tank uh, for the breather system on the other side it's obviously the big bit the turbo um, it's a T4 as I say from the uh, Sierra RS500 uh, lots of other ancillary bits and pieces you planning anything else on the engine? No. No? no. You're happy? Is it reliable? It has been, yeah. Uh, Engine-wise, remarkably so. Um, I've killed gearboxes with it, even straight-cut gearboxes. Uh, I think the trick is not to use all the power all the time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'd say it's got a relatively new straight-cut box in it. It's a new design. It's, it's going pretty well so far. It seems to be out of coat. So. Previously, I had a dog box in it, which was quite interesting on the road. Right. Uh, clunk, 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 <laughs> going up through the gears. Quite good for a clutchless up changing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, that died. Uh, basically, it was a rally gearbox, and the rally cars don't have 500 horsepower. They have restrictors in, keep them down to about 350. So there was always a chance that box wasn't going to have a particularly long life. So. What's the 0 to 60 on this, roughly? <sighs> I've got an app on my phone. Do you want to go out and we'll do an all to 60 time? <laughs> we could try it. Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, have a guess. What do you reckon it is? Uh, I don't know if the naught to 60 would actually be all that spectacular because obviously it's quite laggy um, coming off the line. Uh, I don't particularly like to launch the car off the line, again, because it's four-wheel drive. You're putting a lot of strain through yeah. the gearbox if you're launching it. Uh, it's just not necessary, really. But in gear times... 
pretty spectacular when the boost is well oh, done. Sure. There's a lot of torque coming through there without yeah, a doubt. It's about 420 pounds of torque. Yeah. yeah. What's it like to drive on the road, Jules? Uh, it wouldn't suit everybody, to be honest. It's very noisy. You probably wouldn't want to go across Europe in it. It wouldn't be everybody's cup of tea. But uh, if you're quite hardcore, you can get along with it. As I say, essentially, it's spec'd up for track. But um, you've, you've got a, f a carbon fibre front splitter. Uh, yeah, the How, the we, yeah. yeah, the original ones yeah. are just not available anymore. Right. Well, when, on the rare occasions that they do come up. Like the four bits together, you'd be looking something like a thousand pounds. Yeah. Just to just get the original one, just because they're so sought after. Yeah. So carbon fiber reproductions. Work you out okay with speed cheaper. bumps? Uh, yeah, not too bad. I tend to go a little bit cautious. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if you can fiddle about with the ride height quite easily with it being on coilovers. So yeah. I think I've got it set up just about right. I and mean, some of them are a bit severe and do scrape, but no breakages as yet. Excellent. How much? How much you spent on this, uh, Jules? To be honest, I haven't actually spent an awful lot. The previous owner did. Ah, that's good of him. Of it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and I get all the benefits. But I would think you'd be looking more than the value of the car to modify it to this sort of level. Well, the value of Cosworths have gone up, haven't they? Uh, they've been steady for a while. They were going up, then they sort of levelled out. But they've never really gone down. And uh, it's the Sierra RS 500s that are really rocketing up at the moment. Mm. I think it's only a matter of time before these follow suit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, this realistically if you used to stick this on piston heads for sale. I guess you could ask 25, 26 grand yeah. for it. Even though to reproduce it, you'd have to go out to get a, a tidy car like this, you'd be looking at spending 20 grand on a, a reasonably standard one. And then to modify it, you're probably looking at spending another 30 to get it to this, yeah. this sort of stage. Which is why I let somebody else spend, yeah. spend all that. <laughs> well, this is a yeah. I mean, it's a quite a well-known car within the within the circles. So, I'm sure, this you know, if you if you decide to sell it, you you get quite a lot of money for it's it. It's not going anywhere for a while yet, to be honest. Yeah. Just can't think of anything else in that price range. It gives so much performance. Yeah. At, for that kind of money. Yeah. Well, it is a fantastic yeah. motor. I mean, I can go out with all these Ferraris and what have you, and I won't get left behind. No. Yeah. No, that's right. And you'd probably stick to the road a bit better <laughs> than some of us. I've got to put the power down quite well with the four-wheel drive. So. Yeah. 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 No, it's a very, very special car. I mean, I, I love my Cosworths, as I mentioned earlier, so we'll be going out in that at some point, Julian. <laughs> I've got all the gauges and what have you inside. got a oh, stack dash in Oh, it. let's have a little look. Come on, let's have a little look at the... Uh, so I'm, I'm one for a turbo gauge, me. I do like a turbo gauge. Um, Okay, point point out some bits and pieces. Obviously you've got your stack dash in there. Uh, to the left, exhaust gas temperature gauge on the left. Got a uh, water temperature gauge on the right. Uh, I haven't actually got one of these big boost gauges. I tend to get I'd in. stick one in if that was me. Well, <laughs> gets in your line of vision a little right. bit, I find. You stick it on, stick it on the Gimmick, dash. Gimmicks are good. But, uh, yeah. It has actually got a boost gauge. It's on the digital bit in the ah, middle. Okay, but, lovely. So I can keep an eye on what's yeah. going on. Yeah. So there you have it. Beautiful. Absolutely. Thank Julian, you thank you for joining us on F Gear. Cheers, Ed. Thanks a lot.